what's up guys in this tutorial we learn about functions and also define our own functions uh, firstly what are functions and where do you require them okay uh, the answer is quite simple actually you have used functions as in the printf function was defined in the header file hdio.h you have used the scanf function and also the main function as in you write int main it itself is a function so actually you have used them also in the math library you had many functions like par sqrt for square root and many more okay uh, basically functions are, are divided in two types the first one is the function which are defined by the c lib defined in the c library uh, uh, all these functions that you use printf scanf uh, and many more and the second type of functions uh, are the user defined functions as in we can uh, write our own functions okay you might be thinking that why do we need functions why do you need to define functions okay uh, uh, suppose that there is a certain lines of code as in five or six lines of code that you need to perform again and again in your code so instead of writing those five six lines again and again you can just call that function okay so how do we define our function uh, we write in this it's a return type as in what will the function return as in it's an integer or a character or a floating point number it can be anything what the function would return so it is a return type then comes a function name then inside the parentheses you have your arguments as in the arguments are the things that that we pass on to the function the values we pass on to the function so it can be uh, any argument as in it, we can have one argument two three n number of arguments so the values which are passed to the functions are passed in the arguments and then we have a lines of code as in statement one Uh, yeah like this you have statement 2 yeah so this may be any statements as in lines of code that you want to execute in your function I written 5 statements suppose there can be n number of statements okay then you return the value or anything as in okay this value is of the type that is uh, mentioned here as in the return type if it's an int then you return an integer if it's float then you return a floating point number okay also you can have a function not returning any value as in you can have a function like void then you have to write a return type is void so if a function is not returning anything okay i'll write here not returning a value so your functions return type will, would then be void and then it's not compulsory to write this statement as in return val whatever okay now let's write a function which uh, just prints the arguments that are passed to it and doesn't return any value so since the function is not returning any value its return type would be void so void i'll give it a name print as in a function name then suppose I am passing two integers so I'll write int a comma int b so the arguments are separated by comma and now inside the function I can use uh, these two variables directly as in a and b so I'll have a statement as in print a I'm writing a pseudo code as in it's not an exact uh, code in C. You can say it a pseudo code. Okay. Now since my function is not returning anything, uh, so I won't have a return statement since the return type is void. Okay. So now you know how to define a function. Now the next question arises: Where do I write this? As in, in which part of the code before the main or after the main? before the include statements after the inclusive where, where should i write all this all all these things you can uh, define your functions 
बिफोर द मेन और बिफोर द मेन फंक्शन और आफ्टर द मेन फंक्शन बट इट शुड बी आफ्टर द इंक्लूड स्टेटमेंट ओनली ओके बट सपोज दैट यू आर डिफाइनिंग अ फंक्शन आफ्टर द मेन फंक्शन एज इन यू हैव योर मेन फंक्शन योर इन मेन एंड योर लाइन्स ऑफ कोड ओके एंड यू डिफाइन योर फंक्शन योर एज इन वाइड प्रिंट यू हैड इन टे एंड इन बी then you have a lines of code so if you have something like this you must declare your function before the main function as in declare the print function uh, i'll tell you the reason in some time so for declaring you must write this way void as in return try then the function name and inside you have the uh, arguments so since you are passing uh, two integers we need to write just int comma int you don't need to specify the variables ओके देन सेमी कोलन ओके इन दिस वे यू कैन डिक्लेयर योर फंक्शन डिक्लेयर फंक्शन ओके एंड दिस इज डिफाइनिंग योर फंक्शन एज इन यू हैव ऑल योर लाइन्स ऑफ कोड योर एज एन स्टेटमेंट्स आई कैन राइट योर स्टेटमेंट्स ओके दिस इज डिफाइनिंग अ फंक्शन Okay, but if you write a print function before the main function, there is no need of declaring. Okay, we learn to define functions, but how do we use them? As in, call our functions. So for calling a function, we have to write a function name, and then uh, inside a parenthesis, we must pass the values. Okay, or the arguments you can say. Uh, so for calling the print function, you will write print. then you will have 1 comma 2 so how how does this work uh it sees the definition of the print function uh it says that the first argument is an integer so it takes one from here and assigns it to a then it takes two and assign assigns it to the va uh, variable b so then after uh, when this function is called uh one and two is printed on the screen as in the print function so let's try this in our, in our code okay we'll write a function to add two numbers so i'll just write my basic structure first hash include stdio.h print main and return 0 i'll take input of two numbers from the user print f i'll write enter two numbers okay suppose uh i'll give it a variable name as i com i n j as for two numbers so i'll have two scan of statements scan f percentage d comma i and then scan f percentage d comma j for two numbers yeah also instead of having two scan of statements you can take the input of two integers in a single scan of statement as in scan f uh, since there are two integers we need two percentage d so percentage d percentage d uh the first integer is i so it should be comma ambition i and the second one is j so ambition j uh so this could be done i'll just keep it as two separate scan of statements so i'll just delete this out okay i'll save my file i'll give it a name function add c so uh we are taking input of two integers from the user okay now let's uh, define a function so what a function is doing is adding two numbers and it's returning an integer so we'll write int add as it's ret it will return an integer okay it will take uh, two integers as argument so int a comma int b 
then I just want to return A plus B and yeah so I need to call this function so I'll call from here suppose I'll create a new variable C or the sum all right in sum is equal to add for calling the function and I'll have here I comma J so I'm calling a function add it will return an integer so I'll store it in sum and how would this work I'm passing I and J so this would have I will be equal to one A and J will be equal to B so I'll just print some print sum is equal to percentage D comma sum uh, yeah okay so just let's execute a file and see uh, compile and run okay enter two numbers suppose I want two and three uh, okay what's wrong here oh shit yeah in scan if we pass the address as in it should be ambassador die and it should be ambush ambassador J so yeah let's now you see a file okay enter two numbers two space three okay two and three yeah sum is equal to five so yeah we are getting it right uh, so here we are defining a, okay now let's define a function after the main so I'll just copy this and then cut it okay as I said uh, you need to define the uh, as then declare the function if you are defining it after the main so I'll have int add and int comma int so I'm declaring this function here so let's execute our file 2 space 3 ok yeah sum is equal to 5 ok so yeah that's it for this tutorial see you in the next one please do subscribe to our channel like our video and do provide your suggestions for our improvement thank you